Hey everyone, it's Jen with Chappy Plans. Thanks for joining me for another Plan With Me video. Today I'll be planning in my social media planner. So if you'd like to see what I'm gonna do, stick around. What's up Chappy fam? Thanks for joining me for this video. Happy Saturday. I am planning in my right-handed dashboard layout for October 10th through the 16th. And this week, oh wow, I just pulled out like all the sheets at once. We don't need to do that though. That's a little bit. We're not gonna do three weeks in one video because we'd be here all day. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I am gonna be using as my inspo, my jumping off point. It's sort of a collab, if you will, because I'm using all the sticker shops. So it's a collab between Caitlin Plans Starry Cats. And then I've got two sheets here from Martina's Sticker Company and another two sheets from Mar Martina's Sticker Company. This one's called Autumn Harvest. I forget what this one's called. Uh, Plaid Pumpkins, I think. Either way, I'll link each of these individual sticker sheets below with my codes. I'm also going to be using this Star Washi from Allie, according to Allie. I am an affiliate for her, so I have a link, as always, in my description box with my code, uh, which is Gen10, if you want to save. It does help me out a little bit because if you're an Allie's affiliate, you have the privilege of being able to receive the following month's full complete collection of stickers that she releases if you're one of the top three rep code or not rep affiliate code names that's used so um i would super appreciate your support that's always very helpful and means a lot to me honestly it really does it's a huge huge compliment when you guys use my my codes um so I don't, I have no idea what to expect. I thought it might be fun to have these cats sort of like going after these spiders here. Um, <laughs> so I'm not gonna be using these two sheets completely, just certain elements from them, um, if that makes sense. So, and then I'm gonna be using some black boxes from Mojo Dojo Plans as my boxes. Um, so I think I need to start with probably the boxes. And then the kitties. Oh boy, this is gonna be so cute. I hope, I hope, fingers crossed that it is. Um, but I wanna label my sections on the right side, which is like highly functional and awesome for folks who just really kind of need this running to-do list, which I totally do, and that's how I use it, whoa. Um, that is how I use it. Okay. And then this section down here ends up being for my reels. So I'll need two larger boxes, rectangular boxes for that. Striped would be preferable. Let's see. So this way I can track where I'm at with them. Hmm, maybe I'll do one here. One. Two. Nope. <laughs> Why? Why every time with the boxes? I cannot. Lay them down straight to save my life. I mean, it does happen on rare occasions, but they're rare occasions. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, I'm going to have a kitty. How do I want the kitties? Oh, they're so cute. I'm going to take this big kitty here. And I'm going to trim its butt. <laughs> and then so it looks like it's sort of sitting on this line here like so and I want to bring in the reason I pulled this autumn harvest sheet from Martina's sticker company is so I could use these super cute 
star pumpkins because I feel like they go with the star cats. So we have star cats and star pumpkins. A match made in heaven. Okay. And then I'm gonna take this spider and it's gonna come, it's gonna be like here. But because I need it to be longer, I'm going to take my favorite pen. It's my Energel, Pentel Energel 0.7. Actually, that spider's kind of crooked. So let me draw the line first. And then I can add my little creepy crawly. So y'all know, I've said this in my other videos, I don't do Halloween. But like to me, I guess this definitely seems like a Halloween spread, but this is as Halloween as I get. Um, black cats to me are not scary. I have a black cat. I love my black cat. He's super sweet. Maybe he's a little bit, um, you know, he's got, he's like a, a Sour Patch Kid, you know, he's sweet and sour, but I love him to death and he is not like some witchcrafty type cat or anything, <laughs> whatever that, I don't know what that means, but he's not scary. Okay. And I don't do spells and I don't use him for any of that weird stuff. So to me, the kitties are super cute. This is going to be a pain in the patoot trying to line this up. I apologize. Hold on. Let me line this up and I'll come back. Okay. That's as good as it's going to get. That's pretty darn cute. So he's like look, kind of got his head tilted. I, I keep calling them he because my cat's a he, but who knows? So he's kind of like looking up at the spider there. That's adorbs. I'm going to put some washi because this washi is so cute. Okay. Yes. Loves it. What else? These star clusters are cute. And I need to use the moon as well. But maybe I'll use the moon over there. And I'll use a couple of these clusters. Mm-hmm. That's cute. And then maybe I could put another cat up here. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. And this kitty can go here. Yeah. Just trim off the end of the tail a tiny bit. And then I'll put another spider up here. Come on. But foist, I need to draw the line. Mm. See if I can do a better job on this one than I did with that one because that one's jacked up. I mean, it's meh. I don't know. <laughs> They're both super like, what? I need that. Give me. And then a widow pumpkin. Francisco drew these pumpkins. Aren't they beautiful? So pretty. Okay. That's looking good for now. I'm going to come over here. Over here. And I'll just do like one of these maybe. Let's see. Mm -hmm.
I'm gonna do this, which I don't usually do this, but I kind of feel like it. So there. <laughs> I don't know why. Then I'll trim this one, which actually I need to trim the one up there because it's crooked. Probably noticed it. I was trying to pretend like it wasn't bothering me, but it's totally bothering me, so. <laughs> I gotta fix it. Who am I kidding? Okay. There we go, that's better. Now, where am I gonna put washi over here? Probably down here at the bottom, and then maybe, so I'm gonna do like this. Um, so I have popped on a few times last week to start my Chappy Chats back up. Thank you uh, to those of you who are like giving me a little love in them. I love when you guys do that because like I said, the only reason I kind of stopped doing it and I felt weird about it was because I was filming them and I was popping in and I was sharing my life, but like nobody was <laughs> really responding. So I was like, I guess nobody really wants to see um, or nobody really cares or people, you know, maybe they're just doing that whole thing that their mom taught them, which is don't say anything unless you have something nice to say. And since no one's saying anything, maybe I need to stop doing this and it's not being received well. So, <laughs> so I stopped filming them but um I don't know I I am a, an extrovert and I like connecting with all of you and so um thanks to Lisa for bringing that to my attention that I should bring it back um and it you know people are watching it I can't say everybody's like responding or leaving like a little heart or whatever but people are definitely watching them so I'm happy to do them I guess as long as people care or want to see it or whatever, you know. Um, all right. I feel like that looks okay, like not so, I just didn't want the washi to come like right across here and have it look, you know, really uniform. Sort of spreading it out. Okay, and then I need to label right here for the chappy chats and then oh I'll be working from home Monday because Miss America has Indigenous Peoples Day off as we all should and take time to educate ourselves listen and learn and grow things that we don't know about or th maybe we think we know about but always go to the source, right? Always go to the narrative, listen to the narrative of the people group that we are focusing on honoring that day. So in this case, we're going to focus on indigenous voices and listen and learn. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Oh, okay. Um, all right, let's bring in one of these sort of a busy weekend. I don't think I'm going to be getting much done Sunday, but definitely earlier in the week here. Let's see. I could do a square. We could do a square. Why not? And then we could do... Where's the... Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my clean color dot marker and use it to make bullets. I'll bring another little box over here. Another little boxy. How about this size? Perf. That's pretty cute, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, Caitlin Plans release is Friday. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, she's working on the cutest stickers. I am deceased. Just thinking about them. 
All right, this big kitty cat needs to do go over here. Yes. All right, I'm not going to cut the paws before I put the paw cat down because I don't want to cut it unevenly. Okay, there we go. Sorry, kitty. So, mark your calendars. Put a reminder on your phone if that's what you do. But don't sleep on the Caitlin Plans release because it is going to be amazing. All right, so we need to put a spider. I think I'm going to do it coming down from this box. Burp. I probably should have used like a thicker pen or marker, but whatever. Too late now. Like a felt tip marker or something would have been a better idea than my gel pen. For so many reasons, but I just didn't think it through, friends. If you're going to use this spread as inspo, use a felt tip marker because It'll just be easier. Oh, so cute. So cute. And I need some more jack o -lanterns. See, I want to save these for something else. I don't know what. All right, this pumpkin unkin can go here. Awesome. Okay. Two more kitties. Okay, this kitty is going to go here, I think. Let's see. I'm not going to, like, put it down super hard because I want to see how I like the overall feel. think that's what we're gonna do okay so you're gonna live here and you can live here and then I think I still have room to write all I do is basically so I just want to kind of like very loosely keep track of what I'm talking about in my chappy chat so I don't repeat myself too much I mean I'm sure it's gonna happen but because you know ADD <laughs> But that way I can look back and be like, oh, right, this is what I was talking about last time. I should, you know, follow up with X, Y, or Z. I don't know. I hope that makes sense. But it's just sort of a way. It's just for me. It's not really for, like, I'm not keeping any kind of statistics or tracking anything necessarily. I just want to make sure that I'm keeping track of what I'm talking about, I guess. Okay. More pumpkins. All right, this one's gonna go over here. Okay, kit. I like that. Have a small one, which under the kitty cat's butt. Like, is the cat standing on the pumpkin? Hmm, that would be maybe cute. I'm gonna try to do that because <laughs> I feel, I'm feeling spunky. All right, so I'm gonna cut off the stem. What? Just, just, just hold your horses and bear with me for a sec. All right, and then let's see. How am I gonna do this? I don't know, it was your idea, Jen. So that means I need to trim around this so the white space doesn't take up like the pumpkin. Yes. 
turn this. Okay. That's so cute. <laughs> Cats on the pumpkin. What? I don't know. I have to trim off the bottom because it looks like it's just floating and I don't want that. I want it to look like it's sitting in flush with this washi strip. Not that it's necessarily sitting on anything, but... It makes me feel better in my mind, and that's what's important, right? Right. Okay. So I'm gonna do, we're gonna do like a spider over here. Oh, I still have one big jack-o'-lantern though. Hold on, before I add my little creepy crawlies, which also spiders don't creep me out either. So like to me, they don't, this is not a scary spread, but maybe this is scaring the crap out of some of you. I hope not, but it's definitely possible. I just, I have a black cat and spiders don't scare me. So like, in fact, I may, I've shared this in other videos that my child here, I'm going to put it down here. Um, Nora will cry if people try to kill spiders in our house. We always pick them up and put them outside. <laughs> don't judge. Okay. Do I want it like this here? Let me put, I'm going to label this so that. I can see how much room I'm gonna have. You'll see, you'll see, just watch. Give me grace, try to be patient with me. Usually I'm a hot mess. Okay, so I need to um, pick the audio, film it, edit it, and leave a draft. Three, four, okay. So now I know I'm not gonna need to write down here, so I have this room. I'm like, this much room over here and I can trim the butt <laughs> that's inappropriate I'm sorry okay that is adorable now I have my little spiders I want this guy actually to live over here so I'm gonna trim off the string so it's just the spider and he's just gonna be like, maybe he's starting to like go crawl up the pumpkin. It's a whole story, okay? It's, it, that's what's happening is I'm creating a narrative for my sticker positioning and, you know, storytelling, why I'm using the stickers the way I'm using them. So that's normal. Uh, so I'm done with these. And just have this sheet of spiders now. Okay. So this cat's going after that one. This cat's gonna go after... All right, I'm gonna do a little spider on the little pumpkin. And again, I want it to kind of be like, it's gonna crawl up on the spider. So the cat is like, hey, bro, it's right behind you. <laughs> but she's distracted because there's another spider over here, big one. Oh, I just tore its leg. No. Yeah. We're going to do this. Let's see if I can fix that. Sorry, Spidey. I did not mean to. Don't tell Nora. <laughs> okay. Spideys. 
I don't want to leave them hanging. Get it? <laughs> oh gosh. Sorry. Sorry. All right, so this one wants to come over here. Mm -hmm. That. And then one more. This one there. It's like coming off the side of the page onto this box. Hopefully I don't like flip the page and do like a mini freak out like, oh, there's a spider on my <laughs> paper. Not like like I'm not scared of spiders, but it does like right, it's a bit unsettling when you see a little spider on your in your workspace, you know? I think I just need to add these sparkles and accent pieces, accent stickers, I should say. Put a cluster there. Cluster here. And cluster. here. I have to use this moon. I forgot about it. Mm -hmm. Stars coming off the cat's tail. Is that going to be a thing? I don't know. How about here? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that instead. And then I can use all these little individual ones. I want one over here. Whoops. Oh, but I don't want these next to each other. We cannot. Eh. I ripped the paper. What the heck? Okay. Oh, man. I just got nail polish on my page. Can I erase it? Sometimes, sometimes an eraser will work. Like one of these from, um. Combo. Mm, kind of, I guess. Better than it was, I suppose. Okay. Put a star there. Let's see. Put one up there. And one more. Yay! Starry Cats. Use them all. Love it. All right, we're going to do two here. And then we'll do two there. And there we go, friends. There is my spread. Love it so much. It's not scary. It's cute. Just, you know... Embrace it. This is amazing. I'm obsessed. You guys have to let me know what you think of my cats going after spiders with, with the starry jack-o'-lanterns. And um, again, we'll link everything for you below as long as products are still available. Let me know if you are a arachnophobic mess or if you were able to endure this video, super appreciate you hanging out. Either way, if you would do me a favor and like this video if you did, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. And I'll see you in the next video, friends. Take care and remember that you are enough. Bye.